Good morning, friends of Jesus. This is for our class on April 10th. After the death of Jesus, the disciples were afraid of the Jewish authorities. Jesus appeared to his disciples many times after his resurrection. He would often greet them, peace be with you, which must have reassured and comforted them. In today's reading, Jesus gives the gift of the Holy Spirit to his disciples. They will soon continue the work of Jesus. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Spirit of God, fill us with peace and courage so that we too might spread the good news with the world. We thank you for the joy of Easter time. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. When it was evening on that day, the first day of the week, and the doors of the house where the disciples met were locked up for fear of the Jews. Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. After he said this, he showed them his hands and his side. Then the disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. When he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The saint of the day is Saint Julie Billiard, and she actually is the patron saint of learning disabilities. Our iPad lesson today, um, if you take time to pause, shows you um, just a video of how God sent the Holy Spirit um, among the disciples. So we are also going to have the Spirit come upon us with our craft today. So you have um, two long pieces of paper and a flame. So what I want you to do is I want you to glue your two long pieces together um, so that it fits around your head. So you can start with the two there and then go ahead and measure your head and do the back as well. It'll probably take a little bit of time to, glue, to dry before you uh, do it around your head. And I also want you to glue the flame on the front. So take some glue and put it on the flame and glue it on the front. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some of our, we're gonna make a flame with our tissue paper. Um, you can crumble it up and just glue it on if you would like, or you can take a pencil and go ahead and you can stick them on so that they kind of stick up. So I'm gonna glue my flame here. I'm just going to make my flame yellow. I think it might be easier if you crumple it up and just put some on there. It sticks up well. And then you'll do this until you get the whole flame um, with whatever color you want, whether it's the orange or the yellow or the red. Um, go ahead and put it on and then you'll have your flame It'll all be um, the same color and then you can go ahead and put it around your head and you can wear it as a cap and show that you have received the Holy Spirit. So once you finish your craft, um, go ahead and whoever's helping you and whoever's with you in the room, uh, if you want to bring your family in, say who you'd like to pray for. Um, I would like to pray for um, all those who are receiving their confirmation this year. Um, this is a gospel that kind of reminds me of those who are receiving their confirmation. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Thanks for being here and have a great week.